We've just had a new paper published about the links between autism and psychosis in the British Journal of Clinical Psychology. Very exciting. I supervise this project. If you don't know me, I'm Dr Emma Clare. I'm a research psychologist specialising in mental health and an interest in psychosis. So it's already known in the literature that psychosis and autism are linked and we wanted to update that with a meta-analysis where you review all the research that's been published on this area and put it all together. We got 63 studies with nearly 7 million participants. So we found that autistic individuals were seven times more likely to also be diagnosed with a psychotic illness and vice versa. People who had a psychotic illness were more likely to also be diagnosed as um, autistic. And we found that autistic individuals were more likely to score higher on psychotic traits, so behaviours um, and characteristics that we might associate with psychosis. And again, the other way around, people who um, have a diagnosis of psychosis tended to score higher on autistic traits as well. It was things like social withdrawal or reduced emotional expression in psychosis, known as, as negative traits or symptoms were more likely to be linked to autistic traits. Experiences of psychosis like hallucinations and delusions were still more highly endorsed by people who were autistic, but it, there was not such a strong association. And this is really important because if there is this overlap between these experiences, clinicians need to know so that people who are autistic and people with psychosis are getting appropriate treatment. The thing that they're struggling with, is it something that can be helped by a neurodiversity service or is it something that can be helped by an early intervention psychosis service? Just being aware that people might have both of these diagnoses at the same time can really help the support that people are offered. We want to do some research as well on whether the way that we measure the experiences is impacting um, the association between psychosis and autism. That's the next study, so uh, stay tuned. And let me know if you have any questions about the paper in the comments.